In cataract surgery, we have changed from ECCE to FACO or more FACO to MIC and reduced the incision size from 8 mm to 3 mm or more 3 mm to 1 mm. Similarly, in glaucoma surgery, we have changed the incision size smaller and smaller in trabeclectomy cases. I first demonstrate small incision trabeclectomy through the 3 mm conjunctiva and tenons incision. It is 8 mm from the limbus posteriorly. Subtenons pinpoint anesthesia is performed with 1.5 cc 2% xylocaine solution. Next, I inject a small amount of 0.02% mitomycin C directly into the subconjunctiva space. This is followed by injection of BSS at the subconjunctiva space to wash out residual mitomycin C. If it is necessary, we can enlarge the subconjunctiva space with a hockey knife, but it is optional. Next, I make the oblique square tunnel using a 19 gauge V lance knife. V lance knife makes an oblique tunnel in order to work as a partial guarded filtrating filtration procedure like a short tunnel trabeclectomy. I inject the viscoelastic material to maintain the deep anterior chamber space. We design the Fukasak micro punch that is produced by Katina Products Inc. This punch is 20 gauge size and can be introduced through the minimum incision. The micro punch can be controlled meticulously. Now you can see this tunnel under direct visualization with a 3mm trabeclectomy. Through the 1mm incision, you cannot see it directly, however, the operative technique is the same and I will demonstrate later. With pinch action, we can cut the trabeculum out and open the window of the globe to fit right. The Fukasaku micro punch can control the size of windows with 2 or 3 bytes to obtain the ideal reduction of intraocular pressure. Our partial guarded oblique tunnel technique has more of the outflow resistance than the standard full thickness scroll stomy technique. So, the final intraocular pressure is between the standard trabeclectomy and the full thickness scroll stomy. And the complication is much less than them. We use a 20 gauge vitrector to create a per peripheral edectomy. We set the rate at 200 cas per minute and the vacuum at 200 meter millimeter mercury. A peripheral iridectomy helps avoid iris incarceration into the internal sclerostomy. Adequacy of filtration at the edge of the tunnel is judged with cellulose sponges. If the leakage seems inadequate, the surgeon may add another scleral bites with the Fukasak micro punch. Finally, I close the peritomy. Because of the small size of the incision, the minimal number of sutures is enough to close it. Balanced sol solution is then injected into the anterior chamber through the paracentesis with the blunt cannula to elevate the filtration blade. Intraocular pressure is monitored by the finger on the glove. In the second case, I demonstrate a 1mm trabeclectomy. Each step of the surgical technique is almost the same. First, I make a 1mm incision at 8mm from the limbus. Subtenance pinpoint anesthesia is performed to block the ciliary nerve. Next, I inject a mixture of mitomycin C and a 2% xylocaine at the subconjunctival space. A 19 gauge V lance knife makes the oblique square tunnel into the anterior chamber through a 1mm conjunctival incision. Our minimal incision technique is, is designed to be a less traumatic procedure over other standard trabeclectomy or sclerostomy procedures. The incision is very small and we inj inject mitomycin C into the subconjunctival space directly without damaging the corneal epithelium. There is very few scarring to cause the failure of glaucoma filtrating surgery, filtration surgery. After injection viscoelastic, Fukasak micropunch performs trabeclectomy at the oblique tunnel uh, through 1mm conjunctiva and tenons capsule incision with 
two or three bytes. The micropunch can control the size of windows with adequate numbers of bytes as you need to obtain the ideal reduction of interocular pressure. If necessary, you can perform additional scrub bytes easily. A 20 gauge vitrector creates a peripheral irritectomy through the one millimeter incision. We set it at rate of 200 uh, cuts per minute and the 200 millimeter mercury as vacuum. Finally, I close the 1 mm peritomy with 180 bike reel stitch. This is enough to maintain the integrity in a traumatic condition. There is no leakage and it re retains some resistance to preserve the ideal intraocular pressure. The standard trabeculectomy's closure must be very meticulous in order to prevent a wound leak that could lead to loss of the blood and a flat anterior chamber. This means the micro-incision trabeculectomy offers the ideal closure. You can see the good peripheral iridectomy and big smooth functioning filtration blade. Suit lamp examination shows a good filtration blade postoperatively and maintenance of a long-lasting good lowering intraocular pressure effect with three uh, mirror examination, we observed the trabeculectomy window was well open internally and one year post op. In 29 cases of this technique, the post op intraocular pressure shows 8 to 14 mm mercury without medication at 12 month post op. In conclusion, we designed a micro punch that can be introduced through the minimal incision. We developed micro incision trabeculectomy or MIT with this micro punch and without a large incision. Peripheral irritectomy can be added using a 20 gauge vitrector. This micro incision technique is fast and safe and has a long lasting good results. This technique will be another standard technique for the glaucoma surgery. Thank you for your attention.